welcome to the channel it's Rita Otome I know that I was gone but in my defense I had an exam I can't yell too much but uh, yeah I will make sure that I get through as much content as I can today in case you didn't know I just got Leona I got him a few minutes ago um, I pulled my first temple on the banner. I didn't get anything good. And my second temple, I got Jamil and Leona. Um, I don't know how I did it, but uh, uh, I did, you know? Like, this is Jamil over here. Uh, you know? Yeah, so I have both of them now, which is crazy. I wanted Jamil, but I'm not complaining, okay? I spent more than I needed to on that banana, but it's fine. This fairy gala, I started seeing it yesterday or two days ago. I haven't played it. I'm supposed to play it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get as far as I possibly can today. As you can see, Leona is looking pretty as hell. Ooh, it's twist tunes as well. You know, you see people who have played through the Japanese version on YouTube and it's just like you start seeing them on Ian and it's like what's this? Excuse me, head mage. We've been looking for you. Something strange is going on. Scarabia is usually warm year round, but it's getting a bunch of snow. We shoveled enough to get out of our dorm, only to find a hall of murals as hot as an oven. A sim, Viper. It's happening at your dorm too? The temperature has been Arborant in my office as well. It's so cold in there. Why feathers could freeze over. Temperature control on this campus is handled by fairies who draw power from a valuable mage dome this school maintains. Perhaps someone's vandalized it in some fashion. Then we should go check on it. On the double. Okay, yeah, temperature change is really annoying. I get what they're saying. So this mage stone you mentioned is stored in the mirror chamber? Yes, it's strictly forbidden for anyone to enter without my permit. Hmm? Wait a minute. Sweet merciful seven! Gone! Gone! The precious mage stone that supplies the fairies with magical power is gone! It is? Viper, summon every house word into the head mage's office at once. I'm calling an emergency meeting. So, oh, this is pretty... Why is this room so cold? Oh, oh, thank goodness. It's been so unbearably hot all day. I fear I was on the cusp of dehydrating into octo jerky. What's octo jerky? I have no idea. It's a sauna in Ignihide. Oh, yeah, it's meant to be cold. But you all have flames on your head, aren't you? Like, I don't get I don't understand. What if this fries our PCs? Request I want to join I want to join Ignihide. Like I have no coding background, but I will join anyway. What if this fries our PCs? Requesting we shut down the dorm for emergency med maintenance, sir. Quiet in the office. As you are no doubt aware, we are presently unable to regulate the temperature in buildings across campus. The cause, I'm afraid, is that the mage stone acting as a fairy power supply is missing. That's the thing you were yelling about? Just so. The campus buildings are kept pleasantly livable all year round by, by virtue of the f magic of fire fairies, water fairies, and wind fairies. Just to name a few of our many fey benefactors. With the mage stone gone, we can no longer wait, we cannot fear wait, we cannot feel the fairies' magic and thus cannot control the campus's air conditioning. I kept it stored in the mirror chamber to avoid the pre this precise scenario, and yet, someone has undoubtedly stolen it. The nerve! The audacity! You just said that the stolen object is a mage stone that supplies the type of magical power that fairies favor. Wouldn't it follow, then, that the fairies would be our first suspect? Hmm, that's actually good thinking. I didn't think of that. As I recall, there are there's a fae right here among us, a rather tall one at that. Don't you dare blame Malius. Azul, don't you dare blame. Malius is 
don't don't blame him okay you would never do something like that that's a bold implication you're making ash and grodo are you suggesting that i the heir apparent of the briar valley would stoop to common thievery such a beautiful response malleus i'm here for you don't worry i'm your homie perish the thought pardon me i meant no offense of course dude the amount of power you could get from a mage stone would be a drop in the bucket to malleus exactly like my guy op he's the he's the mc of this story but let's not talk about that okay He's already a bounds breaking character with an auto filling MP gauge of his. What? Yeah, for sure. Nobody here would think for a minute that you're behind this, Malleus. Even if you did, if you wanted to end you in five minutes, you would. That's just the truth. Just, you know, if you happen to know anything relevant, it'd be nice to hear. Oh. No. When I was out on a stroll last evening, I did glimpse some fairies around here. A kind that I don't see very often. They were palm size and clad in leaves, like Tinkerbell, right? There were two of them, and they were struggling to carry an iridescent stone. Why, that's it! That must be the missing mage stone! Draconia, which way did they head? Towards the botanical garden, I believe. We depart at once! Everyone, make haste! Is this our job to get it back? Bruh, this is your school. Why do, I, why do you feel like I'm the one running it for you? Like, really? Okay. Let us take a discreet peek inside. We mustn't alert our fairy suspects. Ah, I see some tiny fairies grouped up. They're definitely carrying an iridescent stone. That's it! That's the precious mage stone that vanished from the mirror chamber. Those fairies clad in leaves are called craft fairies. They, they make the tools and implements your fae brethren need to change the seasons. Does that mean that they stole the mage stone to use in some feat of engineering? Is that a tiara? Ah, they've affixed the mage stone to it. Of course it's Vilda would notice first. Don't tell me they pilfered such a precious mage stone simply to use in making accoutrements. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is... What? Hold up. Let's take a view. Look at these pretty fairies. This is fire. Why is wind... Why is wind still red though? Oh hey! A bigger fairy's come na coming up now. You know she's boss level because she's got an escort. My, I believe that's... And now they've placed the mage stone adorned tiara upon her head. Interesting. So they crafted a hot kotor crown for the larger fairy. The gemstone color does match her dress nicely. Mm-hmm, that's true. Is this really the time for, for fashion appraisal? Leave it to Vil to always talk about fashion at the wrong times. I've seen that golden fairy before. You have? Shining like gold, she towers over other fairies, her beautiful wings a flutter. Thus, she is revered by her diminutive brethren. There's no mistake. That is the queen of the Feyland, where the smaller fairy, where the smaller fairies gather. Y'all have a different queen? And what the hell is she doing in Night Raven? Y'all don't have jobs. What? She's the queen? Wait, she's a fairy queen? If she's outside her domain at this time of year, there's only... There's one likely explanation. Night Raven College's Botanical Garden has been selected as the venue for the very... For the fairy gala. Oh. I, I beg your pardon? THE Fairy Gala? Dear, oh dear. Goodness gracious me. What's the gala? Sounds like a hoot to me. Everything party. That's what you know. Camille, what are you doing? Sorry, Kalim, what are you doing? The Fairy Gala is a festival that the fairies hold to usher in spring. Those who dwell in Feyland choose a place to hold it on a whim when spring dawns near. 
supposedly they celebrate the turning of the seasons with fancy outfits and a glitzy fashion show to showcase them. Your store will hold us made stone. Your made an entire campus to be destabilized because of a fashion show. Sounds like something Veil would do. Let's just shoe off the stupid fairies and take the mage stone back. Mm. <coughs> I don't think so. No, you can't. The fairy gala is no mere celebration of fairy fashion. It is specifically a festival to herald the arrival of spring. If it were to be interrupted or spoiled, that would incur the fairy's wrath. Hmm, I don't think I have strength for that right now. And the twisted wonderland would be forever enveloped in winter's cold, harsh embrace. Y'all have to wait, wait, wait. They just barge. That's like someone just barging into your house. I mean, like, oh, I'm going to throw a party here, and if you send the person out. Then you're going to have 100 years of bad luck. What? Oh, just what we need. Forces of nature who throw temper tantrums when someone makes a man. Riddle, are you talking? Riddle, are you talking? Oh my god, Riddle, don't. If anyone's supposed to talk about this, it's not going to be you, okay? Just don't. We can hardly chase off the fairies. But sitting around, waiting patiently for the gala to end is also not an option. From what I can, what, from what I've, from what I've heard, the fairy gala's post-event festivities can easily run three months. What? What is wrong with them? This is this is breaking and entering. I'm basically living there. Like what? I say we work. Wait, I say we all work together to take it back. We can't get on that one. Borrow a student's mage stone or something. Hmm. You have the poses. Wait, why do you all look positively unenthused? Here we go with the same old story. A self-important grown-up dumping unpleasant work onto his student. It always happens. Like, how many times are we going to keep helping this man? Like, he, he never learns his lesson. You're right. That being unable to hold... Wait, you're right that being unable to hold classes is a serious problem. But is it one... But is it one that students have any business addressing? True. Rido, speak facts. Speak facts. The head mage is the one responsible for campus affairs. As a student... I fail to see how any of this is my job. Vu, I grew to like Vu as a person more and more. Like he's not husbando for me, but like he's a homie sometimes. Goodness, I know temperatures are in flux, but you needn't all be so unseasonably cold. Even so, I had a feeling you were. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Even so, I had a feeling you'd respond thusly. So be it. I'm afraid school is cancelled until the fairy gala concludes and the air conditioning is fixed. School's cancelled? Sweet! However, missing three months of classes means I won't be able to advance you to your next year of studies. I like Crowley, but at the same time, like, this is such a good move to play. The entire student body will be held back, yourselves included. Oh, Crowley, let's go. What? Preposterous. Me? Held back a year? That's unacceptable for me as well. It would be, dev it would be devastating to my public image. There, you see? I'm perfectly fine with canceling classes, but it simply wouldn't do for all of you. Why can't we just take the classes online? Just do online class. This still doesn't sit well with me. But I suppose we have no choice. This is absurd. But with our advancements effectively being held over our heads, our options are limited. Then we have an agreement. Wonderful. Let's all work to overcome this adversity together. 
Oh, Crowley, you play so dirty, but I get you. So, in review, you have two tasks. One, see the fairy gal through to the completion. Two, take back the mage stone. These objectives must be achieved in tandem. With that established, I open the floor to discussion. Say, Malleus, you're a fae like the queen, right? What if you just went up and wait, what if you just went up and we're like, hey, excuse me, that stone is valuable to us. Can we have it back? The fae are no mon what? The fae are no mon what? The fae are no monolithic entity. We come in many different varieties. There are flora fae, light fae, fauna fae. Everything from thistle to dragons like myself fall under the same broad umbrella. We come in different sizes and speak different languages. None of us get along either. Much like humans, really. Okay, y'all have your own problems. I like that. Were I to so much as set foot in your gala, those tiny fairies would grow frightened and scatter to the winds. Shh, some help you are. Okay, he's trying his best, okay? Leave him alone. Y'all always leave him, okay? He's not easy. If an inconspicuous solution is our aim, then what if we crafted an imitation tiara and swapped it for a real one? Mm. View. I like that. I like that. I like that. You see, you're scoring points every time, man. You make a fine observation. As far as I could tell, those fairies were only regarding the mage stone as a pretty rock. Mm. Okay. There's some IQ stuff going up here. I like it. A counterfeit would go unnoticed as long as it remains aesthetically identical. Sneak it in, sneaking into the fairy gala, reaching the tiara and swapping it out with a fake. That's quite a cunning plan. However, there is one that. Yeah, the thing is on our head. How are you going to get it off our head and put a new one? It hinges on having some manner of magic spell or item that disguises someone as a fairy. A prospect as unrealistic as it is. It's dog! Let's go! Sam! Whoa there! Man, I want to go to the fairy gala. You ought to make an outfit for me. Greetings, head mage, my little imps. You seem to be in a bit of a bind. Hello, Sam. Why am I not surprised that you have an internet reader for desperate customers? Ah, uh, sorry. Business opportunities. <laughs> My friends in the shadows tipped me off, actually. Let me guess. Head mage, is this what you're in the market for? A vial full of golden powder. Hmm. I take it that's fairy dust. Why, yes. Good eye, my horned imp friend. Fairy dust is a source of power for the fairies living in the Feyland. The way I hear it, no dust, no flying, fluttering, or even folding for them. Feyland fairies keep themselves coated in the stuff all the time, which means conversely, anyone with fairy dust sprinkled on them count as part of the crew. With this, you could sneak into the party like you were planning. Normally, I prefer to spare such expensive, but the fairy gala leaves me in no position to refuse. I'll be purchasing that fairy dust. Bill it to the school. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, that takes care of one problem. We have our means of disguising someone as a fairy. But this is a tiny vial. So much dust won't be enough to cloak every housewood in present. We'll have to nominate someone to infiltrate the fairy gala. This event is a hot spot for fairy world elites. Our nominee will need to carry himself with grace and refinement. He'll also need to convincingly he also need convincingly glamorous attire, of course. Indeed. The ideal infiltrator will need to know his way around parties for the upper crust. Incidentally, I have it on good authority that the 
theme of this year's fairy gala is windswept. Windswept, you say? That sounds advocated of breezy, broad stretches of land. Hmm. Best person would have been Vil. Like, the best person to do it would have been Vil. Like, he carries himself with such grace. And understands how to interact with people. Like, he's a celebrity. This dude talks to people on the norms every single day. And he, he has a kind of respect. You understand what I'm saying? And he would have taken Azul. But Azul would have been looking for contracts up and down. I don't, don't take him. He doesn't have that vibe. He doesn't have the good manners. Um, I, uh, I I can't go because uh, he has he's nervous. Then Kalim, this guy can't carry himself in a party. What do do I have something on my face? Hey, don't look at me. In the Feylander's eyes, I believe you two would have the most. Wait, I believe you two would have the most windswept look. As poor an excuse for nobility as he is, Leona is a royal, and Kalim is the heir to the most prominent and wealthy family in the Scalding Lands. Like y'all, Kalim really just rich, but has nothing else. Well, he's cute. I mean, he's like bubbly, but like, ah, uh, like can he really carry himself in a party exquisitely? Are we done here? K G G. Oh my god, I don't know! Oh, don't do that to me, come on. I'm sure our two infiltrators will make, wait, I'm sure our two infiltrators will have many preparations to make, so this would be a good point to adjourn. I wasn't invited to start with, so I'll just see myself, then how did you get here? How did you get here, Mario? Someone invites you for things. I feel bad for him. This is actually interesting, but the words are so hard and complicated to read. Okay. And there you have it, boys. The continued peace and well-being of our school is in your hands. Count me in! I'm all too happy to help. Tell them. No. Okay. This is first label. Well, count me out. Why should I have anything to do with infiltrating some dumb party? Let me be clear. I hate smooching. Galas, gag, balls, barf, etc. King Scholar, consider the possibility that a sense fails in his head pepper and spring is not forthcoming. Wouldn't you be among those affected by the state of affairs? As a feline beast, no? A perpetual winter that will sap you of your drive. Savannah Claw has many basement students, and I imagine the temperature changes do them no favors. They'd have trouble staying active. Their dorm's performance and energy would plummet drastically. Are you willing to accept that risk? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Say, is it okay if I bring Jamil along for this? I'd hate for him to miss out. By all means. In fact, I insist you do. I'd certainly rest a lot easier that way. You could use an attendant yourself, King Scholar. Someone to help you wait, someone to keep you honest and prevent you from stealing away the moment. I'm not watching. A mediator who will report back to me in a timely manner. I've already called them over, in fact. Could it be who I think it is? I have no idea who it is. Trey? Oh, it's me! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Yo, homies, we're going to the bowl. We're going to the bowl. I told you, but like, oh, well, they don't give us a dress now. I don't understand. I see yet another absurd assignment coming. It's as hot as a desert in Ramshackle Dorm. This is going to be uninhabitable for those of us among the living if someone doesn't do something about this. Stat! I knew it. Pasha and Grim. 
You're getting in on the fairy gallery too, huh? I couldn't ask for better backup. Welcome aboard. Your job is to keep an eye on our infiltrators and ensure that they don't cause problems at the fairy gala. You expect me to be able to control these guys? The success of this operation is high. Wait, the success of this operation is riding on you, bro. Don't put that on my head now. Hold on, did this wait? They called all the dorm captains. Why was I not called? Or why was I called late? I'm a captain, man. Kalim, why? Why must you always sign up for trouble on the spot? How many times have I told you to say, I'd like some time to consider it before agreeing? Leona, you have got to stop dragging me into this mess. You just want to dump all of your dirty work on me. But everyone needs your help. I'm sure if we all put our heads together, we'll do just fine. Oh, get over it. It's not like I want to be here either. But it's the fairy festival. Don't you want to see it at least once? Do you even understand what's at stake here? We're not going to sip bubbly and discuss the weather. Or, actually, we kind of are. But no matter. If you want me in, give me at least 10 thorm wait, at least 10 thomax an hour for my time. Then we can talk. Bruh, make it 2000. I give you 2000 thomax an hour. I got the money. I'll pay you. Leona's broke. Don't look, Ruggy. I have money for you. I got you. Okay. Are you guys all okay with letting campus remain unlivable indefinitely? Yeah, well, I, I suppose not. Holding class is going to be a, the least of our problems if school stays that, this bad until the day we graduate. Good grief, yaddy yaddy. You're right that we're just wasting time in here. We're not, we're not in a position to say no at this point regardless. Let's just do as Pasta suggests and get to work on a plan. All we have to do is swap out the tiara. Wait, all we have to do is swap out the tiara, right? Sounds like enough of a plan to me. How are you gonna get it off our head and put a new one? You're gonna bump into her so you can fall down and then beg her and put like a fake tiara. Like, what are you gonna do? That's a goal, not a plan. The tiara is sitting on the queen's head, right? We need to work out how to make the actual switch. Can't we just use magic to levitate it all sneaky-like off her head? You want to use magic on a beam of magic that can also manipulate magic. You think she's not going to notice. Fae are much more sensitive to magic than humans are. Can't you tell that much from Mally's? I told y'all! I'm basically... See, look at me. I basically live in their world already, okay? I basically... I'm already in, the, I'm already in that world. I'm already in Twisted Wonderland. They just don't know it yet, but I'm coming. This is the Queen of Feyland we're talking about. We should assume that they will immediately notice even the slightest use of magic. Yup, you're right about that. A bunch of mages that can't use magic at all. Cool. That's a tight constraint right out of the gate. That's where you come in, Ruggy. How do you figure? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Leona, you're smart. I like that. I like that. I like when you think with your head. You're gonna use that your magic to like put and then she puts it on the table and then you walk away with her and then you go there and you try to give it back to her. Then like someone tries to give it back to her, but like you already switched it. So like when you switch it, you now give it back, you know, yeah, it's a walk. You swap the tiara the queen's wearing for the fake. Directly by hand. Wait! What? Me? No! You're gonna implicate Ruggy. No, don't do that. This is my thumbnail. I, I really need this. This face is gold. Wow. What's this? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, is this his outfit? Aww. 
It's so easy to see stains on pure white clothes. I wouldn't be able to eat in this outfit. Hmm. I like a scarf. Clear the entire... Okay, yeah. I need to clear it. I didn't finish being first, but I need to make sure I clear this. It ends on 16th, so I should be able to do it. Okay, guys. Ah. I told you I would be ending at episode 6 in this video. I'm trying to cut them short so they're not too long. I don't have too long time. Uh, I don't have to spend too much time editing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the video. Of course, whenever I post a video, I also make shorts on the video. I could not make a video for some time because the Wi-Fi router blew up. So I couldn't use Wi-Fi to upload my videos. And I was not going to use my mobile data. But things should be back up as usual. So Leona says goodbye. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.